In this session, let us discuss about electrochemical sensor used for the detection of pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals are organic molecules which are widely using to solve different health issues. After the usage, they are excreted and enter into the environment. As these molecules have low biodegradability, these may cause toxic effect on the environment. Hence, monitoring of pharmaceuticals is important and many sensors are used for this purpose. Diclofenac is one of the pharmaceutical compound and its chemical name is 2226-dichlorophenyl aminophenyl acidic acid. It is most frequently recommended non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug having antipyretic and analgesic properties. It is widely used for the treatment of acute muscle pain, arthritis like uh, ankylosing spondylitis, etc. Overdose of diclofenac may cause adverse effect on health. Further, because of its poor biodegradability, it affects the ecosystem also. Hence, it is very important to monitor the diclofenac. Different sensors are used for this purpose. Now let us see the construction of a sensor for the detection of diclofenac. It contains a plastic strip on which three electrodes are printed using screen printing technology. The working electrode and the counter electrode are printed with the carbon paste along with multi-walled carbon nanotubes or graphenes. The reference electrode is printed with the ink of silver silver chloride and the upper part of the sensor is sealed with the insulating material and the strip is connected to electrical connector and immersed in the analyte solution for the measurement. Now let us see the working of this sensor. The working electrode or the sensing electrode is designed such that diclofenac selectively gets adsorbed on its surface. On the immersion of sensor in an analyte solution and by applying the required voltage by using reference electrode, the oxidation of diclofenac takes place. Let us see the oxidation reaction of diclofenac. This is the diclofenac molecule. On oxidation, what happens is it gives the radical intermediate along with the liberation of one electron, which on further hydrolysis gives two hydroxyphenyl acetic acid and 26 dichloroaniline. This is the oxidation reaction of diclofenac. The liberated electrons will result in the flow of current between the counter electrode and the working electrode. The number of electrons liberated is directly proportional to the concentration of diclofenac. Hence, Concentration of diclofenac can be determined by measuring the current. 